Hello, this is Zé Cuchão from Twitter. Um, today I'm going to show you a little bit about the, uh, the DECR uh, RSX uh, speeds. So, um, some notes about it. Um, uh, the core speed of the DECR uh, is usually at 500 or 550 megahertz and the memory speed is usually at 650 megahertz um, as you can see uh, here you can see it here Five hundred six hundred and fifty. Um, the core can run stable at six hundred for VSH and games, but there's a chance it can crash. Uh, there, my friend uh, provided uh, some uh, LV ones for me to test to show you how uh, the VSH uh, and uh, well. I don't have any games here, but uh, to, so, to show you how the VSH and at least multi-man uh, boots. Well, not multi-man, but uh, the reboot toolbox. Uh, and the third note, uh, core can run at 650 MHz uh, for uh, VSH only. So, this means that uh, games will crash so um, as you can see here mine boots at this speed if uh, we try to boot here with um, Linux shell we go here and then we try to the LCN SL server uh, with this uh, command line at IP and then our IP which is 192.168.1.0 in my case one dot eleven uh, then uh, we go select our directory our directory can be one of these four for the level ones there's this one this one this one and this one so we just select the core uh, let's see uh, I remember it was HD yes HD and put core 600 memory and we put 675 so we put the minus G for the bug options it will ask for permission, we say yes to all. Okay, so with the, this needs to have the DECR powered off, we need to power it on. We're going now to power it on. We can see here, uh, let's see, uh, what is it? Uh, 600, 700, I, see, I saw it for a little bit, let me see, 
Where is it? It was 600, 700. Let me try again. I think my friend sent, sent the wrong file. But let me check again. Uh, as you can see here, it's booting. If I try to enter user1, it will enter. If I go to the rebook to toolbox, it will enter and I can move around. I can also go here and shut down. Okay. Shutting down. I think I, I put the wrong level one, but uh, let's see if it shows here. Well, it doesn't show. I'll have to check better this level one. So now on or onwards to the next one. I can close this one too. And I'm going to cancel this one. So now uh, memory is going to be 700. Minus G. Same thing. Deck powered off. Turn it off, on. Six hundred, seven hundred and twenty-five. You can see it there. It's like a, a bit of stake. Um, still powers on. If I push the PS button, I can enter the username. Let's see. Yes, I can enter. I can go here and reload the box. Yes, you can see everything here. You can quit. It's working fine. And I can shut down the system. So next test, going to remove this one, remove this one, and control C, and now I'm going to 725, okay, so this one, uh, Decker, is uh, shut down, uh, program start, Press again. Starting. This one is 600, 750. Okay. Start again. I can enter the year. Okay. Everything smoothly seems that there, there isn't any crashes if I try to enter Reebok toolbox it works okay shut down works now we go to the final one so this one is closed, this closed, and control C on this one. And now to the final one, 750, which seems to be that it's not going to be 750, but 675. Let's see. So this is start. 
Now we're going to start the decker again. It has to be on standby. And we wait. Okay, here is the LC terminal. Oh no, this is 775. Seems I was off by a little bit. Um, so we push, we push the PS button. We enter the user. Everything seems normal. Enter the Reebok toolbox. System information is normal, everything normal, no crash, CPU normal temperature, RSX normal temperature, and shutting down. So, a few notes here, uh, let me close this, and close this, and this one too and control C this one so uh, since I was a little bit off this one isn't 675 this one is 700 this one is 725 And this one is, let's see, okay, 775. Okay, so with, uh, with the memory you can change most of it and uh, it won't affect anything uh, in the in the PlayStation. Um, with the uh, core you have to be very careful because if you change a, a, a lot, a, a lot, uh, plus 50, plus 100, it can crash the, the whole system. So um, it's important. Oh, uh, and if you, if you boot, if, if I boot my, my deck rec, normally, if I go here and just click on the, um, Reset, uh, okay, I'm going to reset into system software. And I'm going to show you again that the, the speed is, is normal again. And in below. So, um, you can see here, 500, 650. So this is the normal speed for my deck, as you can see here, 500, uh, For the others, uh, well, uh, it's a matter of testing uh, with uh, the, the RSX patches, because LV1 LV1 as a set of patches for RSX VBIOS and, and they are, serve a certain purpose and you can mess with them and uh, you just need to look uh, a little a little between the, the lines to find them where they are because uh, they might be very important later, maybe uh, for dumping the VBIOS, maybe not, uh, we will see. Um, well, uh, let me just shut down my, my DCR. Shut down. Working normally. System shut down. Um, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and liked it. 
um, I could do some tests about uh, the, the performance of these uh, level ones, but I would rather uh, provide them to you uh, for you to do some tests uh, yourself uh, uh, to the audience. Um, uh, that is all for today and I hope you, you liked it and if you liked it uh, please uh, leave a comment, uh, uh, subscribe or uh, leave a, a, a like in uh, like uh, on the notification. Thank you very much.